friends today i am going to show you what is weathering what is weathering weathering is a breaking down of dissolving of rocks and minerals on earth's surface once a rock has been broken down a process called erosion transports the bits of rocks and minerals away there are many agents of weathering and erosion some of them are water ice acids and many more next we will talk about what are the types of weathering one freeze thaw weather freeze thaw weathering also known as frost shattering. The steps of freestone weathering is 1. Water fills a crack in a rock. Next, the crack in the rock is made wider when the water freezes. The final is the rock breaks into several pieces. That's what we call freeze weathering. Second, onion skin weathering. Onion skin weathering happens when a rock is repeatedly heated and cooled. As it is heated, the outer layer of the rock expands slightly and as it cools, the rock contracts. Continual expansion and contraction causes small pieces of the rock surface to peel off like the skin of an onion. This is what we call onion skin weathering. 3. Biological weathering Biological weathering is due to the action of plants and animals. Seeds may fall into cracks in the rocks where shelter and moisture help them to grow into small plants or trees. As the roots develop, they gradually force the cracks to widen and the rock to fall apart. Eventually, whole rocks can be broken into small pieces. Burrowing animals such as rabbits, moles, and even earthworms can also help break down rock. This is what we call biological weathering. 4. Chemical weathering Chemical weathering is caused by the action of water. Ordinary rainwater contains small amounts of acid. When it comes into contact with rock, the acid attacks it and causes the rock to rot and crumble away. The result of this can be seen on buildings and in churchyards where the stone has been worn away or pitted. Water and heat make chemical weathering happen faster, so it is greatest in places that are warm and wet. This is an example of the statue of a lady when it was originally built and how it looks now due to chemical weathering. The greatest example of chemical weathering is the Statue of Liberty. This is how it looked originally but how it looks right now. Now this video is almost over. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel and smash that notifications bar so you know when I'm uploading a video and you will never miss it.